Take three. It hasn't even been five seconds. I'm just gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna keep running this ship until I can just freaking work. Oh, my God! No! I'm just gonna restart, because that was crap. Dude, I hate this game. I really, really am beginning to hate this game. I'm pretty sure I just jumped into a dead end. I'm almost positive I just jumped into a dead end. So I'm just gonna restart. I just, I so badly want this game to just be fun. Like, I just so badly want things to just go smoothly so I can play and be like, I'm enjoying myself right now. I'm having fun playing a video game, and it will not let me. Rock Investigator, great. I mean, like, really, all I just want to do is just have a moment of fun. Things were going so good that last game, too. They were going so good. I had an extra crew member. I had the, um... I had that better weapon. Like, they were really going well. And then it just jumped all over my face. Good thing you shot the same room twice in a row, though. The least useful room on the enemy ship. You shot it twice in a row. I wouldn't want you to hit something important. Thank you. You finally managed to hit their shield room. Dude, this is why... I have, like, the worst luck with this game, kind of consistently. Kind of consistently. And, I mean, like, that's all fine and dandy, don't get me wrong, whatever. But, like, I hate using drones because the drones are just all about luck. Are they gonna keep shooting their... the clone bay? I have a whole drone. That ship had what? Engines? I, I can't remember. Engines, piloting, weapons, shields, clone bay, oxygen, and what? Like, one empty room. Every one of those rooms would have been useful besides the clone bay or the oxygen room to hit. I like, I really, I just want to have fun. Sector scanner, okay. That's good. I don't want a sector scanner, so I'm going to sell it, which is great. I'm not going to buy trinkets. Damaged ion burst. Projectile smuts. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Quick shot. High velocity anti ship phase iron. Low profile mine layer. Camo heavy scatter. <sighs> Part of me wants to buy that. Part of me does. I mean, I'm not going to. <laughs> but part of me wants to buy that. A crewman would have been nice. Or a cheap, real weapon. Welcome up. Oh my god. Alright, we're like. Oh my god. I got an extra crewman. It's. I'm. I'm. I, I, I don't know. Like. Is the game about to crash? Because I don't know. I just feel like. Every time it looks like it might be good, it immediately just dumps all over me. So it dumped all over me in the form of having my uh, my oxygen system get half. Great. And I dodged exactly none of those. Uh, 
Now if we can kill them before my, my people all suffocate and die. Kill them maybe just a little bit better. There we go. Oxygen systems are now powered. Now I get to sit here and wait for my crap to refresh. Anyway, in a... You know, I'm almost positive I just put power into the oxygen room. And I don't have power there, and I don't know why. Alright, well... In take... In attempt number two, we're on attempt number three here. In attempt number two, I had started a two-story part. And uh, I didn't get to the second one, so I'll start the second story here. Um, I mentioned in part two that I used to ride my bike to school. Uh, I really only rode it to like intermediate and middle school, so that was uh, that was fifth through seventh or fifth through eighth. It was fifth through eighth that I rode my bike to school. Uh, and I also mentioned how there was like it was mostly uphill on the way to school, so. In, like, early spring or kind of, like, fall, it would be kind of cold in the morning, as you can expect. Let's see, how can I get to that? I have to go upward. So I'm going to go boom, 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 boom. Okay. So, yeah. I'd go up the hill in the in the morning, and it would be cold. So I'd always wear like a sweatshirt. Or actually, I had a when I was young, I went to uh, Canada and uh, got a like a fleece sweatshirt kind of thing. It was actually pretty nice, just for the record. All right, we've got a scary beam weapon, or uh, a much scarier missile weapon, I should say. On the upside, at least I know I don't need to worry about misses. The downside, I need to worry about, uh, boarding parties. Well, there goes my life. You know, it would be cool if he would just not be there. Also, it would have been kind of cool if I had decided to eye on that a little bit sooner. Faulty Hole Smasher. Yeah, we'll just go with option number one. Okay. It's, you know, it's whatever. Anyways. So, you know, I'd ride my bike to school in the morning, it'd be cold, so I'd have my little sweatshirt, and then I'm going home, it would be hot, because, you know, the afternoon. So I'd take the sweatshirt off, and usually uh, I would drape it over my front handlebars. Uh, and I had, I guess it's called like a BMX bike, uh, not a mountain bike. Like on a mountain bike, the seat is almost at the same height as the, uh, the handlebars. This bike was like the handlebars were maybe a solid foot above the seat. So you kind of just sit like back straight facing up like if you were in a chair and kind of coast. It was actually really comfortable. I really like that style of bike. I do not like mountain bikes or racing bikes. They freak me out a little bit because like your head over heels kind of. And if you like break abruptly, you're just going to like go kill yourself. Anyway. Well, I'm honestly surprised that I managed to dodge even one of those. And now what's that going to do to my shields? Destroy them completely. Good. I would have loved to have been able to shoot out their weapons, but it wasn't the big. Oh well, I only took minor damage there. Anyway, so that's that was like my daily routine. At least whenever I didn't go to like a friend's house or something like that, I would, uh, you know, I would just do that instead. Okay. I also, you know, real quick, I want to see what's this do. Yeah, you know what? We're doing it. 
Okay. <sighs> so, the one day I'm coming home from school. I didn't, like, hang out with any friends. I was just going straight home from school. I got my fleece over the handlebars. Second hand healing burst. Nice. Fleece over the handlebars. Going down this hill. And it was, like, a pretty steep hill. I'm just gonna accept that, sir. It said transporter refit. I was afraid it was gonna start beaming boarding parties all over my ship. Uh, uh, carefully secure the data package. Well, I'm not gonna be turning that in anytime soon because it's all the way down there. Because you know why not? Anyway, going down the hill, and uh, the the. The fleece kind of like knocks loose a little bit off my handlebar. So the sleeve is dangling. Let's see if anybody can guess where this is going. Anybody want to try? Because <laughs> it's, it's kind of a funny story. Like, I, I do have to admit, like, it was kind of funny. But anyway. So there I am, barreling down the road. Why am I doing this right now? Good! Grand! Well, let's get rid of that for now. Send him back over there. Can't tell if that's getting through my uh, my beams real quick. Come on, come on, come on! Thank God. All right. So there, I'm shooting down the hill, going super fast. I'm down the sidewalk. There's not usually a lot of cars there, but occasionally there are. My f sleeves dangling, and it gets caught in the spokes of the tire. So abruptly, it just yanks the whole sleeve off the top, or yanks the whole fleece off my handlebars, drags it into the tire, and I have front brakes. So the whole fleece sweatshirt just goes straight into my front brakes, pulled by the tire. And then my front tire just immediately and instantly stops spinning without any give. So it's kind of a steep hill, I'm going pretty fast, and all of a sudden my front tire just stops moving, right? So I bet you can guess where that where this leads, right? My bike just does a full-on flip. I go through the air. So none of those things will shoot my drone, it looks like. I sincerely hope. High rank Engie Bomber. You know, a little bit more dodging would be kind of nice. Dodge? Of course not. <laughs> you see that part where I missed two in a row? That was pretty sick, wasn't it? It's a good thing that my engine room's on fire. And they somehow now have more... Okay, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, we just gotta run away from this one. Just, just, like, for just a split second, stop and think about that situation. Like, I feel like the only real response you could have to what just happened there is awe. You can only be left to just an utter awe of that situation. I should have jumped backwards. I should have just given up on the quest. Ignore the wreckage and continue on.
Well, that's good. Six hull points is probably sufficient to, you know, beat the game. I'm just gonna go straight to the Rebel flagship at this point, I think, is my plan. Actually, I'm probably going to die another idiotic death, but anyway. So yeah, I go head over heels over the bike. I'm literally in the air, like three or four feet off the ground, upside down, doing like a flip. And it happened right as I was getting to like the, uh, the little ramp that leads into the road. So I go into the road, still kind of like tumbling through the air, and I smash. I'm upside down, my back goes just directly into the driver's side door of this dude's minivan who had just pulled up to the stop sign. I hit his door, my feet bang into his window, my bike skids and hits his the, the back door of his minivan. I, like, just kind of, like, fold upon his door and then just fall straight down, kind of onto my head, but I'd already spun a little bit sideways, so it was mostly, like, my shoulder. I go down. If I had been going just a little bit faster, I would have been in front of his vehicle, and he would have hit me while I was in the air. So the fact that I went a little bit slower or that he went a little bit faster was what probably prevented me from dying. Because otherwise, he would have hit me. Like, I would have just directly impacted his car, or he would have ran me over. So, he must have thought that he had been coming up to the stop sign too fast, and I had crashed in an effort to, like, break. And he thought this whole thing was his fault. When in reality, it was my sweatshirts. And, uh, car doors are surprisingly cushioned. Um, it, like, when I hit the door, the door folded. Um, good. Rebel trap. That's my favorite kind of trap. I don't even know. Hole critical. Of course it is. And it would be absurd for me to expect any of those shots to miss. Holy crap! I'm gonna die here. I am actually gonna die here. If that hacking module had hit anywhere else, I would have survived. Okay, I'm actually gonna somehow miraculously survive. Or not. Now, there's still a good chance I'm just gonna die. One more hit and I'm dead. I can't run! There we go. There we go. Okay, look, I'm, my scores are actually getting worse as we go. Anyway, so I smash into the dude's van. I land down on my head. The only thing, real injuries I got, I got some bruises on my back, but those didn't come until like a day later. Uh, I kind of scraped up my shoulder a little bit and like my elbow. Uh, but otherwise, like, I wasn't bleeding profusely, nothing was wrong with me. I, there was a good chance I may have had a concussion, but I didn't actually have a concussion. So the dude is, like, freaking out because he thinks he probably, like, killed me. I mean, because, like, to be fair, I think, like, my legs and probably, like, my butt hit his window. And probably scared the crap out of him. But, like, if there's one thing you want to you not experience while you're in the car... It's the lower body of a person hitting your windows. Because you know something is bad in that situation. Meanwhile, I'm freaking out because his his driver's door is severely dented. His The back door is dented and also scratched because, like, I had um, pegs on my bike. Those hit it and, like, put a huge scratch on his door. So he's like, do you need to go to the hospital? And I'm like, no, no, I'm fine, because I don't want him to look at his car and be like, you need to pay for this. He's like, do you want me to call an ambulance? I'm like, no, no, really, I'm fine, I'll just go home. He's like, are you are you sure you're okay? Do you want me to drive you home? I'm like, no, no, just 
don't look at me anymore because I don't want you to connect me with the damage to your car. So I finally convinced him I was fine, and then I tried to ride my bike again, but I could not get the fleece out of the brakes. Uh, so I had to walk the bike the rest of the way home, and I had to walk the bike the rest of the way home while holding the front tire up, because the front tire would not spin at all. And I was pretty sore and, like, you know, bruised and scraped up and stuff, so that the rest of that walk sucked. And when I got home, I actually could not get the, uh, the fleece out of the tire. So we actually had to take apart the tire and, like, remove the brakes so that I could get the fleece out. Anyway, this ends attempt number three. Attempt number four will start in a couple.